Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have three squares of different sizes that are inside this right triangle. And moreover, the area of this smaller square is nine square units, while this red square is 25, and we are asked to find the area of this biggest square. And here is the area of a square formula, A equal to S square, where S is the side of a square. And if we look at this red square, 25 area means that this side is going to be 5, this side is going to be 5 as well, 5 this one, and 5 this one, according to this formula. And likewise, the sides of this blue square is going to be 3, 3, 3, and 3, isn't it? 3 square is 9, and here 5 square is 25. Now let's focus on this biggest square. We want to find the sides of this big square. We know that the area is s square we want to find the value of s let's take the square root on both side so this square and square root is gone so that means each side is going to be square root of a so that means this is going to be this side is going to be square root of a this side is going to be square root of a this side is going to be square root of a and this side is going to be square root of a as well. And in this next step, let's focus on this shaded triangle. I am going to call this triangle number one. As we can see that this is a right triangle. And moreover, this side of this triangle number one is three units and this one over here the horizontal part that's going to be like this one is going to be the whole length is square root of a and we take away this three so that is going to become square root of a minus three now let's focus on this shaded triangle and i am going to call this triangle number Two, and as we can see that this triangle is also a right triangle and moreover in this triangle number two the horizontal side is five units and now we want to figure out the vertical side that is going to be we know the whole this length is square root of a take away 5 so that is going to become square root of a minus 5 and here is our corresponding angles postulate and also look at these angle this angle in this triangle and this angle in this triangle and they are corresponding angles and according to this postulate they are congruent likewise this corresponding angle is congruent to this corresponding angle and moreover both of these triangles number one and two are right triangles therefore triangle one and triangle two are similar triangles and since they are similar triangle i can write them this side divided by this side i can write as a proportion this one as a ratio 3 divided by square root of a minus 3 equal to we can write as proportion this side divided by this side which is square root of a minus 5 divided by 
5. Now let's go ahead and solve for a. Let's crisscross first. We're going to cross and multiply. And let's go ahead and do this one. That is going to give us a 3 times 5 is 15 equal to, when we multiply the other way around, we have a square root of a minus 3 times square root of a minus 5. And let's go ahead and now on the right hand side, let's use a FOIL method. We're going to distribute twice. So this time this and then this time this and then finally this time this. Let's go ahead. 15 is on the left hand side and the right hand side when we multiply this thing, this is going to be square root of a times square root of a minus 5 times square root of a then minus 3 times square root of a and then finally negative 3 times negative 5 is going to give us positive 15. And over here as you can see square root of a times square root of a is equal to a according to this explanation. So I can write this one 15 equal to a and then let's combine these like terms that's going to give us negative a times square root of a plus 15 and now as we can see we have a 15 on this side left side and positive 15 on this side they cancel each other out so we ended up with 0 equal to a minus a times square root of a which could be written as a equal to a times square root of a let's go ahead and square both sides a square and the square of this one so on the left hand side we're going to have a, a square and on the right hand side 8 square is going to become 64 and this square and square root is gone so we just simply ended up with a let's move this 64 a on the left hand side we got a square minus 64 a equal to 0 let's factor out a so we ended up with a minus 64 equal to 0 and now these these two factors equal to 0 I can split them up I can put a equal to 0 or a minus 64 equal to 0 or a equal to positive 64 and as we can see that a is the area area cannot be 0 so we are going to reject this one and we are going to accept a equal to 64. So thus the area of this biggest square turns out to be 64 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.